Hi everyone, it's Ange from Luna Creates. I'm back to share another project that I've been working on. I've been dying to make a strawberry shortcake junk journal for the longest time. And um, strawberry shortcake was like my favorite when I was growing up, when it was, you know, back in the 80s. And so I found this uh, retro book on Amazon. And so I had to order it because I love the colors and the beautiful strawberry shortcake here. And the paper collections that I used to make this junk journal was um, Frank Garcia's Strawberry Milkshake Collection and My Porch Prints. Uh, she has a strawberry, excuse me, a retro strawberry collection in her Etsy shop. If I could remember, I'll link her Etsy shop down below. She has tons of beautiful um, um, digital prints to buy and they're really fun. I purchased other ones from her from before and it's a great shop so um, this junk journal is not your average little golden book junk journal she's a big one so she is let's see here let me grab a ruler I would say about eight and a half inches wide by 11 well just like a regular paper right eight and a half inches by 11 and the spine, I made this spine pretty thick, is about, uh, I want to say three and a quarter, three and a quarter. But anyhow, I had so much fun making this and um, it took me a while because I was doing the signatures and, you know, life happens. And then I was putting it together, then life happens, and then embellishing it, and then life happens, you know. Benny, I believe she's completed. I'm not too sure if I'm going to add any more to it, but I just wanted to show and share my project. So here is the cover. I just embellished only the front corner here. I just added a couple of doilies, some ephemera pieces from the Frank Garcia collection. This little uh, bow here, this swaggy little yarn bow, I got it from a swap. Some embellishments that were in my stash. Uh, this was from Dollarama. These resin pieces are from Dollarama. I think these little puffy uh, glitter balls were from Michaels. And the doily is uh, Michaels. And I think this one here is from Dollar Tree. So, and then that's the front. Um, this is the spine. The paper here that I used for the spine is from Michaels. It was a collection pack that they had out last year. So I use that for the spine. And then all these cute little dangles, except for a couple of them, my daughter made. She's so sweet. She was making me, she asked if I, she could make me some dangles for it. So I said, yes, please. So she made me this one and she wrote the, you know, she spelled out the word strawberry. Which other one does she make? She made this one for me as well. There's little strawberry milkshakes charms on here. And this one has a big strawberry there. And then, oh, she made me this one as well. So cute, eh? And then I had some dangles that were in my stash, so I added them as well. This one I believed I shared on YouTube not too long ago. And there's this dangle here. I just add a whack of them there. And then my daughter even tried to make me some uh, little strawberries, so I added one there. And then I made this little chunky tassel here as well. And then that's the back of the of the of the uh, junk journal. Then I used eyelets. I punched an eyelet hole here and at the front. And then I used some ribbon that's in my stash. I think this ribbon came from Stampin' Up. Way when I used to buy from St Stampin' Up a few years back. And then you can see there's a lot of goodies sticking out of here as well. Um, yeah, I just had a lot of fun. I made some paper clips and such. So. Let's flip through her and show her off. So let's see here. And I tried to stagger the pages as well. Oh, and also I used papers from a paper pad from Michael's too. See, I forget. This was a paper collection from Michael's last year. I can't remember what was the collection was called, but I just ripped out only the strawberries out of it, like whatever ones I kind of wanted. So because it's strawberry shortcake, you need strawberries, right? 
So here's the first page. Um, I added a little binding clip here. Oops, sorry, I'm out of frame. I'm telling you, she's a big one. I did some uh, crepe paper ruffling here. I added some embellishments here, some trim here. And then here are some pockets with some goodies. This is from my porch prints. I added some other ephemera pieces that I got some vintage items in here. A guest check here. Like it was just some tags. I added some cards from um, Dollar Tree. I was trying to find the regular size strawberry card, but I can't seem to find them in the Dollar Trees here and on in where I live in Ontario. Maybe it's only in the US, but I don't see them here in, in where I live. But anyhow. And then I added some pages that uh, from old vintage um, recipe books, student workbooks, and now, oh, and I added a little clip here. This was a hairpin, actually. This was from Dollar Tree. Very pretty. I just thought to add some bling. Let me try to put that back there. There we go. And now we're going into um, the storybook here. Oh, I guess when I clipped it, I clipped both pages now, didn't I, eh? There. So there we go. I kept the story intact. I didn't uh, take anything out. There's some sewing patterns here. And then you can see here's the strawberry milkshake paper. I added some pockets with some goodies in there. Some cut aparts, tags, index cards some uh, old ledger paper or ledger paper ephemera pieces i just i had a lot of fun this is from the lcbo magazine and i just put it in here because it says strawberry daiquiri on the ad there another um recipe there a popcorn bag with some goodies in there a fabric doily i just thought to add some for some texture and there's strawberry shortcake there it's just a lot of fun i made these paper clips with uh torn up fabric the fabric came from dollar tree actually i added some flips some pockets i have some monopoly money in here cut aparts just it was so much fun to do this is actually cheese paper so I thought just to add it in there for texture some more old recipe pages from a cookbook an envelope from the card with some goodies in there some coffee dyed paper which has a, it there is a tuck spot there and then I added some coloring pages I know it's not vintage but it's strawberry shortcake Oh, where did you fall out of? Oh, yeah, that's right. This was tucked in here. So I added the fabric from the strawberry milkshake there. I added some trim up top here as well. It's just a lot of fun. That's This is from My Porch Prints. From an old quilting magazine. Another pocket here with some goodies. More coffee dyed paper vintage recipe book like oh I, I had fun making this I created this as a flip up and I added some tabs on the top too some more recipe pages quilting pages a pocket here with some goodies a flip up here flip out over here oh I don't know if I said it this contains three signatures I was just gonna do two but um, when I tore the, when I took the book apart, it came in, like, it was three signatures. So I thought, okay, I'll do three. Uh, this page, I just, this was from my porch prints and I just thought it looked pretty like that. So it's got its own page. You could always do some journaling around it. I added some pom-pom trim. Lots of fun. I had a lot of fun making this. This would be great to document uh, summer vacations, summertime at the cottage, 
or at the lake, anything. That's what I thought. Like, and in these pages from Frank Garcia's Strawberry Milkshake, you really don't really, you don't really need to embellish them that much. Like, you could just pop a photo there, do some journaling. Like, there's just so much going on with them that it doesn't need anything else, right? Like, you could add journaling there, here, here. It's just fun. It was really fun to make. I'll fix that when we get there. Just notice the paper clip came off there. Really fun. I made a pocket here and I added some goodies. There's another paper clip up here. I'm telling you, she's a big one. I have another pocket here. Flip open, there's some journaling cards in here. Then I added some fun tags in here. There's, uh, I received this in a swap. It kind of cracked a little bit, but that's okay. So I glued her down there. I This cupcake came from Dollar Tree. It's from the school section or the teacher section. And I made it into a pocket. So I added some goodies in there. Oh, and so this is the end of the first signature. Now we're going into the second signature. And then this is another hair clip from Dollar Tree. Let me clip him there. Guest checks some goodies there beautiful pocket another nice card from Dollar Tree I just thought it looked nice because it's red strawberry more vintage um, recipes there and that's the story I did some cute side pockets this is from my porch prints like it's like, I'm telling you that Etsy shop is so cute She's got beautiful things. And this paper from Frank Garcia, like, can't say anything bad about it. It's so pretty. And I bought it last year, and I've never done anything with it. And when I thought about a strawberry shortcake junk journal, there you go. I went to town. Here's a fabric pocket here, and I added some goodies. I made this into, like, a little uh, flip notebook. To add. You could uh, add photos, tons of journaling spots in here. Some more um, index cards here. Like, very pretty. This just, I added this in here because it looks like strawberries. <laughs> you know, strawberry colors anyways. Some more side pockets here. Another popcorn bag with some goodies in there. There's some vintage um, uh, recipe cards. It's just, it was so much fun. And it took me a while. I, I'll admit, it took me a while to do. And I love the way that I just, I didn't keep all the pages the same. I have some short ones. I have some longer ones. I love the coffee dyed paper. I got to make some more. It was a lot of fun. I quite enjoyed it. Here's another pocket with some goodies. And then we're in the middle of the second signature. You could probably document a few summers in here. Maybe three summers, really, if you think about it. One signature per summer. That's an idea. Some uh, crepe paper ruffle trim here. Another from my porch prints. It's so pretty. Some pom-pom trim. Pocket here. I clustered some ephemera pieces there. A lot of fun. Here's another little pocket here. I don't think there's anything in that one, but I added some Monopoly money and gaming card there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Flip out there. You could add a photo on the doily there. There's something to look at at every page. Like there's some trim on here. I added some seed packet uh, as pockets. Another pocket here. Another, this is a three pocket here with some goodies, tags, um, uh, cut aparts, 
playing cards. Here's a clear pocket here with some more goodies. Here's, and then that's the end of the second signature. Now we're going into the third signature. So I started off with this pretty doily. And then this page here is just beautiful as is. I guess when I was putting these uh, paper clips in, I wasn't paying attention to clipping them properly. Here's a little tuck spot here. Like, beautiful paper. It was just so much fun to make. And again, lots to look at. Lots of different textures, different papers. Another pocket here filled with goodies. And there's even a pretty napkin that I received in a swap. So I thought she looks pretty right there. And then here's the other trim that I used. And I made this into a um, belly band. And it's holding some uh, little booklet that I made. And there's a card here to add some journaling and pictures and put it wherever you'd like in the in the um, junk journal. Here's another uh, binder clip here. Just so fun. Another seed packet here, another cluster of ephemera. Just really loving this one. And it's big. <laughs> Another, uh, there's an envelope here to add goodies in. So yeah, I think this could be like three summers worth for sure. Or unless you travel a whole heck of a lot. In this popcorn bag, there's an envelope here and a playing card. But it would be pretty good to have like Three summers because then if you have young ones you can see how much they've grown in the three years I don't know about you but my phone gives me uh, memories of my you know of that day and when I look back at my kids oh my god how much they've grown it's crazy they grow so fast another pocket here another pretty paper clip there pom-pom trim I added this pretty vellum paper here. You could flip up, add photos or journaling. Just thought it looked really pretty. Oh, I love strawberry shortcake. Another tuck spot there. Another tuck spot here as well. Oh, sorry, there's a tuck spot. That's right. And then I also made it into a pocket here. So fun. Another tuck spot here. Well, I mean, a pocket. This is a tuck spot here. So you could add a beautiful photo or a photo here. Journaling. Like lots of spots to document anything, really. And I think we're coming near the end of this third signature. Which we are, because here's the doily from the end of the third. So yeah, that is three signatures worth of this beautiful strawberry shortcake junk journal. I had a lot of fun making this one. It was... It was a lot of work, and I just enjoyed making it. I it, It's just so fun. And I also, like with the uh, trim here, I also added some chunky uh yarn here and some beautiful lace trim here like i i just really love it she is beautiful so yeah that's my project share with you guys for today i hope you guys enjoy this video sorry it's a little long because it's such a big junk journal um if you like this video if you could please give me a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and if you like to hit that subscribe button please do so thank you so much for watching everyone and i hope you guys have a great day Bye for now.